Wow! That is quite a racket. What did you do? Install an app on everyone's computer, to have them mine bitcoins for you? I have no idea what you are referring to wink wink hint hint nudge nudge no what I mean. Right. But seriously, is it really productive to have all those computers running, consuming all of that power in hopes of winning some bitcoin lottery? Well, it would be if that was all they were doing. The miners serve a very ingenious purpose, in that while they are mining, they are also processing all of the transactions on the network. I see. Think of it like this. How much money is spent every day on electricity, hardware, and bandwidth, to run all the bank's payment systems? A small fortune I suppose. Correct. But with Bitcoin, all those costs are shared by peers in the network, and they are awarded with voluntary fees from the network. But if the fees are voluntary, why would anyone pay them? Because, all Bitcoin transactions providing fees will be processed first by the system, over ones that don't. So if you add a tiny fee to your Bitcoin transaction, you will be given priority by the network. I see. Also, Bitcoin miners provide the computational resources required to protect the network. How's that? Because, the decentralized nature of the network, and its proof-of-work scheme, guarantee that an attacker will not be able to overpower the network. Why is that? Because computational resources are scarce. You vote with work. To rig the vote an attacker would need to control more computational power than the honest nodes. Okay. So to ensure that it is more expensive for an attacker to purchase the computational power needed to attack the system, Bitcoin adds an incentive scheme. Users who contribute computational power get rewarded for their work. Incentive. If the value of a Bitcoin rises, and thus attacking the system becomes more profitable, it also becomes more profitable for honest users to add computational resources. So the system is self-regulating. How so? At any given point, one would expect miners to invest as much resources into mining as is profitable for them. Bitcoin needs incentives to protect the consensus process from attackers. This computational process is not wasteful at all, but an incredibly efficient way to make attacks economically unprofitable. Bitcoin never uses more computational resources than necessary to protect the integrity of its interactions. I see. So this is what makes Bitcoins valuable. Bitcoin makes consensus possible in highly distributed large-scale systems, which would otherwise never be able to reach consensus. Okay. So what you are saying is that one of the many values of Bitcoins is their system of decentralization? Correct. As well as the fact that they can never be counterfeited? Correct. As well as the fact that they allow for secure digital exchanges? Correct. As well as the fact that they are limited in number so central banks and governments can print them to nothing? Correct. Wow. Bitcoins sound like the gold standard of digital currency? You got it. So you better get some quick before their price rises higher than gold? I will. By the way, what's the password to that loud computer running over there? Lols.